Hey Alexis and everybody, um, I had to do a video. I know I commented already, Alexis, and um, we are on the same vibration with this particular issue because I myself am a small business owner of a home daycare service that I provide for single young mothers as well as any mother, any parent really, but my focus is the young mothers, you know, who need support and, and from someone who's actually experienced the same thing that I have when I was a young mother as well as yourself. You understand where, you know, that path, um, you understand that path that young mothers experience these days and how difficult it can be to get some understanding and support um, and, and I deal with the same dumb shit that you do with these niggas making nigger contracts and don't want to sign shit but they want your services or you to go out of your way for them for little to nothing or nothing in return and you have an agreement and mine is in writing I provide my parents with a contract of my standards, expectations, their rights, responsibilities, etc. As the parent with me providing service, daycare service for their child. I also am a preschool teacher and I pre prepared my children, toddlers, for kindergarten. So just a little background on, you know, the kind of service I pr provide um, within my business you know, to parallel what you're saying and support what you're saying about nigger fucking contracts, these trifling ass motherfucking niggers and nigger bitches that you speak about. You know, and I can't agree with you more than I already do. And as you see, you know, I wore this shirt today for us. You know, it says, I don't have an anger problem. I have an idiot problem. And, and this diffuses a lot of bullshit for me because when I'm going to take care of, you know, casual business things, you know, with my children in my own personal life, this this avoid, this helps me avoid a lot of fucking drama and unnecessary bullshit that I don't have to deal with, you know, on a normal basis. And, and it shouldn't have to deal with it. Um, but I'm really upset for you because I, I stand in your shoes, so to speak, and I understand from a from an entrepreneurial standpoint what these motherfuckers is doing and and that's why I am having trouble flourishing and eating and paying paying my bills and taking care of my children and my family alongside my husband it's very difficult when you have motherfuckers who don't have a business mind and they out to leech and suck the living life out of you, the life force and your patience and your sanity and everything else and when you won't allow them to do it they want to flip and project it back on you because they know they've made a fool of themselves and they don't know how to clean the shit up so they rather blame you for fucking it up see people know what they're doing when they're doing it whether they're in the right or whether they're in the wrong no matter what emotion they're experiencing, they know when they wrong than a motherfucker, okay? I'm with you, queen sister. And I will help you protect the queen, goddammit. The queen is, like you said, the baddest bitch on the board, okay? So fuck these little expendable pawns that trying to fuck with you on a level they're not ready for. They're not ready for you. They're not ready for motherfuckers like us. Because we know what we want. We know how we want to do our business or provide our service. And that's the way that it is. Or leave. Don't request my services or my businesses. Because when you go, let's say, Empire Carpeting Service. It's a very popular carpeting service. Okay. They have their contract drawn up of their services, what they provide, how much it costs, and what they expect of you and the payment that they expect of you. And if you don't provide that and agree to that once you've signed it and follow through, what happens? They sue your motherfucking ass or they don't give you your motherfucking carpet, right? It's very simple. 
See, niggas and nigga bitches want to be difficult and want to make things more difficult than what they have to because they don't want to abide by the contract. They up to get something, something for nothing. So all y'all motherfuckers who don't have a business, who never conducted business on a serious professional level need to shut the fuck up. And learn something. Go to school and educate yourself. Get an education on business 101. No contract, no service. Period. You know, it's really starting to irritate the fuck out of me. I did a couple of videos that said black people need to get it together. I was trying to be real nice. I wasn't trying to cuss y'all out. You know, and stuff like that. Because, you know, Alexis does her thing and she tells the truth. Her delivery is real. And see, I'm not trying to em emulate her neither because I know I'm going to have some motherfucking haters trying to say, oh, she's just trying to be like Alexis. You know, but I'm, I'm really irritated by this shit because I, I experience it too. You know, and I know I'm not the only one. But I know I'm sick of it because every time somebody wants something for me, they want something for nothing. And this is a business. This is our livelihood. This is our bread and butter. You wouldn't want nobody fucking with your job, telling you how to do your job, punching you in and out when you're not ready to be punched in and out, signing your contract, your, you know, agreements for you. You came, you were hired for a job, you do your job responsibilities underneath your job description, and any time someone asks you to step outside of that, what do you say? You're not paying me for that. I did. That's not what I signed up for. That's not my job. It's not Alexis's job to get the fucking contract for the nigger. He wanted her to come see him and talk and speak. And he was hosting the event. The host is to take care of the guests. If you host someone in your house for a dinner party, do you expect them to cook and buy the dinner? No, you don't. It's very simple. One plus one equals two, goddammit. And if you don't sign on the dotted line what the fuck you want done and what you want me to do as your guest, guess what? I'm not showing up, especially if you don't pay me. So, that's that on that. Vagina power, Queen Alexis. Stick to your guns. Fuck these haters. Fuck all the naysayers. Fuck all the motherfuckers trying to make excuses for this coward bitch. I don't see him making no videos responding to how he fucked up. He's not taking accountability. Fuck him. So what? You got Howard University coming up. Fuck these haters. I'm behind you. If I could be there, I would. You know? So one day we will meet. I will host you in Chicago my goddamn self. And if I have to pay for it all, I will. Because these motherfuckers need you here. They need you here. To tell them what I've been trying to tell them all this time. I need your help here in Chicago, Alexis. Come help me. So, that's my little plug. Queen Common Sense, Angie, in the Chi-Town, holding it down for you, Alexis. Peace, vagina power. I love you.